What's going on YouTube? Thanks for coming and checking out another Fat Guy Builds. Today we're doing an intercooler, Mishimoto intercooler, direct bolt in. I popped the hood just to get some more light to uh, funnel into the engine bay. <coughs> Lift the truck off the ground. We need to remove this front uh, belly pan here. Use a 15 millimeter. Remove these two bolts that hold the bottom part of the tray. After taking those two 15 millimeter bolts, they have this spacer in there, and that holds uh, the space between these two skid pans. You leave the bolts back here so it holds that, and then you can move to the bolts up front. 12 millimeter socket, take those two out, those two out. Squeeze right here and unplug this connector to these fans. For the blow up valve part, you're gonna rotate it. If you're looking at it from the front, you're gonna rotate it clockwise. So you're gonna rotate it this way towards the center of the vehicle. Then you just wiggle it off, boom. Blow up valve tube is disconnected. You're gonna use a flathead to pry this little metal ring out and then that will unlock this elbow from the intercooler. Use a seven millimeter or flathead screwdriver to loosen these clamps and then you're gonna pry off these two uh, couplers from the intercooler pipes. This is what it should look like once you disconnect this main hose. Unplug the blow off valve connector. You just push a little tab and it'll slide off. Use a 15 millimeter socket. Remove this bolt that holds the chassis for the intercooler. There's one on each side. Remove this piece of the shroud here. You're just gonna pretty much unclip it and then just use a bunch of flatheads to get it unclipped and then rip it off and throw it in the garbage. When you get the intercooler on the ground, you can go ahead and take this plate off and put this off to the side. Size comparison wise, they're the same overall height, but the thickness is what's different. Check out that thickness difference. Now go around while this stuff is side by side. You're going to pull these grommets off and transfer them to the same spot on the new intercooler. Then you're going to do the same thing with these. These are just dust covers. So you take these off, swap over these. Take off the blow-off valve. You need to take this out. It's an 8 millimeter. Then you spin this counterclockwise, and it just comes right out. So it should be all back together. You're gonna put that on. You need to put the blow off valve on first before you put this little bracket. And then you just tighten that all down. And we're ready to reinstall it. Slide the clip, the little clip ring part, slide it back in, pre-put pre it in. That way all you have to do is push it on till it clicks. Start off with putting this corner up first without the plate and then we're going to leave it without the plate. We're going to leave it loose. What is that? Is that the old one? Oh. And then we're going to plug in. Uh, the wiring for the blow-off valve. We're gonna plug in the hose for the blow-off valve. Once you have these two tightened down and you have this on, you have the blow-off valve plugged in. Um, now we're ready to get the fan assembly back in. And then, the same time we're doing the fan assembly, we're gonna side the plate on the bottom and then we're gonna have to 
push and get this thing to line up where all the grommets, the fan grommets line up here. Intercooler grommets line up over here where you can barely see my finger. Same thing, you got two grommets. One more right there for the fan. And then one more over here for the intercooler. So it's gonna take two of us to sort of line it all up. Once it's lined up, we put the two bolts in here and on the other side, putting these fans in, obviously part of the job, super pain in the butt. And getting it, this motor here past these lines, you have to like finagle and wiggle the crap out of the intercooler and it's not very fun, but I got it in. Uh, so now we just need to line up all the grommets, push up on the intercooler to hold everything there and put the bottom metal plate on. Plug the fan harness back in. There is the bottom support now. Make sure the fans are in by like wiggling the whole heart, the whole bracket. The top should be secured. So this one is. Everything is tight now. There. All there's left to do is put the skid plates back on. Thanks for coming and checking out another Fat Guy Builds. Hopefully this saved you some money. And uh, come check out some more videos. Till next time, wrench on.